We continue to follow breaking news at four. President Donald Trump used the platform of presidency to promote unproven ties between Tylenol vaccines and autism without giving new evidence. President Trump encourages women to not take acetaminophen, also known by the brand name Tylenol, during the entire pregnancy. Erica Brown reports from the White House. President Trump says the use of acetaminophen, the active ingredient in Tylenol during pregnancy, could be linked to the development of autism in children. You know the way I look at it? Don't take it. Don't take it. There's, there's no downside in not taking it. Health and Human Services Secretary Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who joined President Trump for the White House announcement, has called the rise of autism cases an epidemic. One area that we are closely examining as the president mentioned, is vaccines. Some 40 to 70 percent of mothers who have children with autism believe that their child was injured by a vaccine. Research has repeatedly debunked links between childhood vaccines and autism. The medical community has largely assessed a number of factors could contribute to the development of autism in children and that the use of acetaminophen during pregnancy is safe. Canview, the makers of Tylenol, issued a statement saying taking acetaminophen does not cause autism. We strongly disagree with any suggestion otherwise and are deeply concerned with the health risks this poses for expecting mothers. Tylenol, acetaminophen, is safe in pregnancy. If you have a high fever during pregnancy, that can cause neurodevelopment issues mm. in the baby. So you don't want to let that fever go untreated. Right. Uh, and, you know, with pregnant women may have pain, and that's not something that should go untreated either. Dr. Celine Gounder, CBS News' medical contributor, says today's announcement could have unintended consequences, leading to confusion among pregnant women on which drugs could be taken safely. All right, well, we are joined now by infectious disease doctor Bell, uh, Bob Belknap from Denver Health to discuss the president's claim. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Obviously, a lot of confusion now because I feel like everyone has Tylenol in their uh, cabinets at home. So is there any new scientific evidence that taking Tylenol during pregnancy causes uh, autism in children? And so there's, there's not any new evidence out. Uh, there was a, uh, an evaluation published in August that looked at uh, other published studies, mm -hmm. uh, and it found what has been known before. Uh, so large uh, cohort studies have shown an association. Um, that association is, does not prove cause. All right, so how do researchers actually study possible links between common medicines like Tylenol and other conditions uh, like autism? Yeah, one of the most common ways is you find a, a group, um, usually a group of children all born maybe in the same year and you follow them over time and you follow those that develop or diagnosed with autism, those that are not, uh, and then you try to see if there are any other associated factors within that in that data. It might be through interviews, might be through other other available sets of data. So they might ask the mom, did you take Tylenol while you were pregnant yeah. or did you not or did you eat leafy greens or a multitude Ex of things? Exactly, yeah. Okay, so what do we know about the proven causes and risk factor factors for autism? Well, proven causes we don't know for sure. There's a, a good consensus among the people who study this that it's a combination of genetic and environmental factors that that combination uh, leads to autism, but it's complicated. Uh, and many years of research and, and lots of mon funding and money going to it has not been able to definitively say this is this is the cause or these are the things. So um, we know more than we did. We still have more, many more questions than we have answers. All right. And what advice? Obviously, this is if you're pregnant right now. This might be a very scary time. Or you're thinking, well, what do I do if I do have a fever? What are some advice for pregnant women and any medications that they may be taking? Yeah, I think my first advice would be talk to your healthcare provider. I mean, mm -hmm. they they should be your most trusted source of information. Uh, we we know that. Uh, untreated fevers are a risk for ba bad outcomes, including neurodevelopment. Uh, also, untreated pain. Tylenol remains the, the safest medication for someone to take in pregnancy for either fever or pain. All right. Well, Dr. Belknap, thank you so much. We could talk to you a long time. There's so many questions about this yeah. situation. We really appreciate you being here this afternoon. And thank you both for breaking it down for us. We appreciate it. All right. Look